Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to Oki Outdoor Adventures. Today, we're gonna to take a look at what might be the best swim bait reel under $200 in the Okuma Citrix 364. We're gonna jump in, talk about some technical specs. I'll show you a couple of casts where I did a bait comparison based off of size of the bait, i.e. the weight, and then I'll give you my final thoughts and first impressions of the reel. As always, I want you guys to do as much research as possible. Be educated in anything that you're doing, especially when you're investing in a hobby or something like this where you're talking about potentially a couple hundred dollars. In this case, the Okuma Citrix 364 comes in at $175. So, we're going to jump in. I'm going to show you a couple images of the reel, and then we'll get into the technical specs. Okay guys, let's jump in and talk about the technical specs for the Okuma Citrix 364. You've got a rigid die cast aluminum frame and handle side plate, and then you've got a graphite side plate on the other side that houses the centrifugal braking system. Centrifugal braking system. Boy, I almost messed that up, didn't I? Additionally, you've got an anodized V-shaped spool, aluminum anodized V-shaped spool, and this is running all stainless steel components. So. Those of you that, that constantly ask on videos, can this be fished in salt water? Absolutely. The Citrix 364 is designed with big baits in mind for both water types, fresh and salt water. Now, with anything else, you wanna make sure that you're being aware and doing the proper maintenance on your reels if you're fishing in salt water. We know it's corrosive, we know it can eat things up, but the Citrix 364 has those stainless steel components that will allow you to fish it in salt water with less concern. Just take care of your stuff. Additionally, the Citrix comes in at around 11.8 ounces fully spooled. I weighed my fully spooled Lex, it came in at 12.25, so it's not that much difference as far as weight's concerned, but if fatigue is, if fatigue is a concern of yours, it's certainly worth noting that at 11 and a half, almost 12 ounces, it's a heavy reel, but it's not the heaviest on the market as far as swim bait components are concerned. We're also looking at an eight bearing system, so it casts very smoothly, which I'll show you that here in just a couple of minutes. And it comes in with 25 pounds of drag, so it's beefy. You're gonna be able to, to really haul some lunkers in, or if you're fishing in the ocean, uh, or any, any saltwater, brackish water, whatever it is, uh, we know how saltwater fish fight. So you've got plenty of drag to handle anything that, that you really throw at this reel. Okay guys, before we go check out the on the water action, I wanna break the reel apart and show you a couple of items of note. So to start off, you've got this little screw right here. You're gonna to wanna to have a small screwdriver or a penny or something that you can wedge in there to, to get that off. Now, once that's unscrewed, you'll pop the side plate up and then it will eventually wiggle off. It is a tight squeeze, so it could take a minute to get off occasionally, but once it's off, it's off. So something to note right off the bat, these Okuma reels come heavily, heavily greased. So you're gonna to wanna to try and get as much of that out, as there as pos out of there as possible without completely removing everything. When I originally got the reel and broke it open, it was caked in there, didn't reel very smoothly, didn't cast very good. So I broke it apart, got the grease out, did some maintenance on it, it cast like a dream now. So we've got our side plate off, and then I'll show you on the spool, here's the braking system. Now you can adjust this with your fingers. There's six options, one through six. I currently have mine set on two and it casts phenomenally. The higher the number, the more tension that you're gonna have on the spool, so less, less free spooling. You can also make micro adjustments to the spool tension knob and really dial it down however you want to. So while I'm putting the reel back together, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of on the water action. Okay guys, so for the on the water analysis, we're casting three separate baits and we're gonna do two casts per bait. We're gonna do a simple overhand or overhead cast rather and then a roll cast. Now I'm not actually fishing here so I'm gonna burn these baits in but we're gonna start off with the TK which came in around one and three quarter ounces, maybe two ounces depending on your scale. Mine said one and three quarter. So overhead, decent distance, not bad at all. Let's get that burn back in. It's pretty shallow out there. There's a little bit of structure. I really don't want to, to lose any baits today so we're just going to try and get these in without causing too much chaos, not trying to actually catch anything at the moment. So let's get that burned in. And we'll do our roll cast with the TK. All right, so our roll cast. Not bad, not bad at all. So that's our one and three quarter ounce bait. Let's jump over to the three ounce. All right, guys, so here's our three ounce bait. We're just throwing a little jointed swim bait here. 
it came in at three and one quarter ounces so we're gonna call our three overhead great distance great distance let's get that burn back in All right, next up, we're gonna do the roll cast with the three ounce bait. Not bad distance, it wasn't a great cast. Let's move over to the six ounce bait. Okay guys, for our six ounce bait, we've got the 10 inch Mega Bass Mag Draft. So we'll start off with our overhead. It just cast forever. All right, let's get it in. We'll go with our roll cast next on the six ounce bait all right guys let's do our roll cast with the six ounce bait and uh, we'll call this done and get back to the overall impression not a bad little cast there Alright guys, time for some final thoughts. So, coming in at around $174, $175, the Okuma 364 is absolutely worth every penny, at least based off of my initial testing and fishing with it. Cast extremely smooth, very smooth retrieve, it looks good, it feels good in the hand, and overall I'm, I'm very impressed with the, the build quality so far. Now. I will pressure test this over the next couple of months. We know the spawn's coming up, so I'll keep you guys posted on how this looks. Maybe we'll come back and do a 90-day reevaluation of the reel. But for anyone that's just getting into swimbait fishing or maybe anyone that's looking to replace something in their arsenal with something new or updated, I definitely think the Okuma 364, the, the Citrix 364, should be on your watch list. So is it the best swimbait reel for under 200 bucks? I'm inclined to say yes at the moment, but I've got a little more research to do, so that's my final thoughts. If you made it to this point in the video, I appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. We'll catch you next time on the water.